untimely death in Nigeria. Why do young people suddenly lose their life in Nigeria? Oh, he slept yesterday and he never woke up. Hi, Arweme. I even saw him yesterday. He was looking very healthy. How? Village people, eh, me pana kahasi, eh, me. What are the causes of the untimely death in Nigeria? Oftentimes, we always blame it on our village people. But the question is, are all the untimely death in Nigeria uh, with connection with uh, the village people? Hell no. So an average Nigerian don't like to go to hospital unless he is sick. Enjoy your second one, Kwani NMM. I hold them now on my eye. It is not all about the physical appearance. We are talking about health medical checkup. How many times have you gone to the hospital to check what you are battling? Because I believe everybody has one or two that you are battling. You, never, you can never understand this until you go to hospital and you find out. So I am doing this video to encourage Nigerians to cultivate the habit of going to hospital uh, for medical checkup the same way that you guys go for bia go to your bia para and you say my man kiru because you're going to move on par with this year who pepper soup can you reboot to all but they know be firewood i know but they know be firewood but how many times have you given yourself such treatment in the hospital to check your hospital status I know you can you never did it. Pyam pyam pyam. Very soon it pia. Obi do kobe na village of Lugia Bonage. I have a story for you. So, 2 years ago my friend moved to Nigeria. Yeah. When he was in Japan, he was always going for medical checkup because here in Japan, whether you like it or not, once you're working in a company, in uh, every given year, at least the company will force you to go to a medical checkup two or twice in a year. So he usually go to medical checkup because he is forced to. This is part of the company rules. So my guy, we're now in Nigeria. So he's living there for a few years. He never went to hospital uh, checkup. So last year he moved to Japan. He moved back to Japan to do one or two business before he goes back to Nigeria again. And uh, he decided to go to for a medical checkup because uh, his stomach. He said he was he was in Nigeria. He was having a little bit of a stomach ache. So he said, yeah, since I'm in Japan, let me just use the opportunity and go for medical checkup. So he went to medical checkup in Jakam. Do you know what he found out? My guy had a stomach uh, tumor. So immediately a surgery commenced. And it, with the help of the Japanese uh, doctors, and he was able uh, to be relieved through surgery. And the stomach uh, ache uh, was successfully uh, done surgically. That was how my guy got his life back had it been that he was still living in nigeria up till now he would have been a dead man automatically they will start putting the blame on the village people ah was in japan we are not able to here came born up japan on walk why could get you look at on at nigeria called they will start blaming our village people for no good reason that is negligence. We Nigerians always love to blame our village people for things that they do not even cause. How many times have you taken yourself to hospital this year? You that is watching me to know your medical status. 
dear Nigerians, cultivate the habit of going for medical checkup. Not only when you are sick, but to know your medical status. It will help you a lot. Prevention is better than cure. We all have one or two sickness that we are battling. You will never know until you take yourself to a hospital. Then you will see that uh, the body is willing. But inside the body, body is weakening. Take yourself to a hospital and find out your medical status. Prevention is better than cure. Cultivate that habit as a Nigerian. Thank you for watching. See you next time.